Hello YouTube and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Man, I have got a really, really fun deck for you. Not only really fun, super competitive, it, absolutely destroying on the ladder. So far, when I've been playing with it, it's got a super high win rating. Not going to mention what it is because, you know, that changes for everybody and it can change for this deck like that. But it's such a fun deck and I really want to share it with you. So I was going across, you know, my feeds on the internet and all the Twitters and all that. And I came across Soul Tie Adventures. And I already like Adventures, who doesn't? And I really love the Soul Tie cards. What I don't really like is the Yorion deck. As much as Yorion is a super, super strong card, I just, I'm an old school Magic player. I've been playing since 1994. Decks shouldn't have more than 60 cards. I struggle with 61 in a deck. So, but I saw this deck and it looked like an absolute blast. I had to show it to y'all. So what do we got going on? This is the deck, how it was presented to me when I saw it, including the sideboard. This is the best of three version. But, you know, best of one, we've got a lot of things running around the problematic, like mono white, mono red, gruel aggro, rogues, very, very fast decks. So this can be a little slow, but in best of three, it's pretty good. So we need to speed this deck up and make it better for best of one. And I found that we only had to do a couple of changes. One, Tingle Four Hegen is an amazing card, and I get what it's doing. It's double duty. It's not it's triple duty. It could be a land. It could be a creature. Or if it's a creature, it's kind of double duty, but kind of triple. It also helps fire up Love Struck Beast if you need a 1 1. A little too slow in the meta. I don't want it. I don't like it. Let's ship it. We already have plenty that comes into play tap lands with over here. And then the other thing is three ultimatums. You don't want to draw two ultimatums in a game. It's hard to get to sometimes, but when you do get there, it feels amazing. And you don't want to be cutting one of the one ofs that you're trying to get to. So we're just going to take those out immediately. And then how do we fix the deck? Go a little bit faster towards, you know, um, keeping up with the current meta. Well, what we're going to do is switch over to this mode because it makes it so much faster. And we're going to add one more Brazen Borrower for a second one of those. Really goes well with the Adventure Package and the Edge Walls. And we're going to add one more Extinction Event because, hey, another Board Wipe doesn't hurt. So now we have two Extinctions and the Shadows Verdict. But the sideboard is also meant for best of three. Well, in best of one with Fey of Wishes, we don't need two Negates. We don't need three Mysticals. And we don't need that many Shadows Verdict. So, real quick, we're just going to add few cards back so we're gonna add into the sideboard let's go ahead and switch to this view it makes it a lot easier we're gonna we're gonna add into the sideboard a midnight clock we're gonna add in an ashiox erasure and an ashiox nightmare we're gonna add in a tormon's crypt and we're gonna add in an erebos intervention and then that leads us with 16 cards in the sideboard but we're gonna take out one epic downfall and now that's back to 15 to 15 because erebos intervention kind of does the same thing as that it still gets rid of our toskies or other indestructibles by uh the minus x minus x even though the other one exiled a creature this one doesn't but this still does it but this gives us more options on the card more words more things we can do with our fey of wishes so that's why we're going to do that so now let me get into the deck in a much more manageable looking way to show you the deck tech before we get into the gameplay okay and here we go with the deck all lined up for me to show you the deck tech so what do we got going on here it is a 60 card deck which is very nice it means you're going to hit these cards more often than if you were on a yorian shell uh we do run a sideboard best of one because of the fey of wishes so what do we have we have the adventure package with the edge wall and keepers fey of wishes brazen borrowers love strut beasts and beanstalk giants and so that's going to give us all kinds of value, two for ones on the card, almost every single card, as well as drawing cards. As long as you have the edge wall and keeper out, it's a really, really nice way to get a lot of advantage on your opponent. That's kind of what this deck does, a lot of advantages. Then you've got your mana ramp package, which is the three cultivates plus the beanstalk giants uh, fertile footsteps part. So that kind of does double duty for that there. You've got your uh, removal package, as you will. You've got two extinctions in the Shadows Verdict for board wipes plus a Pelucranos. It is a creature, pretty much a removal in this deck. And then we have our Emergent Ultimatum package. Don't get me wrong, draw any of these cards. Go ahead and play them naturally. Uh, I wouldn't just be like, well, I'm not casting these. But what we're going to do is if we get Ultimatum, we're going to look for one of these cards. And then we're going to cast those cards and get all kinds of advantages on our opponent. And then our land base is nothing super special. It's pretty much what you would expect from a deck of this kind. So what are we doing with this deck? Well, we've got all kinds of things we can do. If you're going against Mono White or Mono Red out the gate and you know, or any Rush deck and you have Fey of Wishes in your hand, that's a good card. Keep it. You're not going to be so much using it for the granted side. You're going to be using it for the 1-4. Four. Four. You've got yourself a 1-4 flying blocker against these decks not only that but that's a turn two drop against an aggro deck you go edge wall innkeeper into a fey of wishes now you've drawn a card also really good brazen borrower also really helps you out 
uh, against aggro decks. So if they think they have some kind of crazy play with mono red, say they throw, you know, Torbrand, and you can do some crazy stuff like, you know, block with your Lovestruck Beast, but it was going to die, and now you've bounced the Torbrand, your Lovestruck Beast kills theirs, your Lovestruck Beast is still on the board, doing all kinds of fun stuff like that. And so the, it has a really good package early game against all kinds of rush decks, and then you just stabilize and you can get to the top end and just finish them out. If you have Valky in your hand, once again, against a rush deck, you're throwing this as Valky God of Lies. You're not throwing this as Tybalt Cosmic Imposter. If for some reason you get to late game, of course you do. But you throw this as Valky God of Lies. Now you get to see their hand, rip one of their most important cards out, probably like a Bone Crusher Giant against Mono Red, or whatever you think, a, a Luminarch Aspirant against White. And then you're going to transform this and make sure that, uh, you know, just you don't let them do what they want to do. You play the game to your advantage. And of course, if uh, you can, you Extinction Event and Shadows Verdict as soon as you can against those kind of decks. Super, super strong against low-end decks. And especially if they go a little bit wide on you, and then you just go ahead on your turn three, cultivate. Especially, I mean, you have to have the Shadows Vert, or the, but, you know, get the cultivate in action. If you have the Shadows Vert in hand, hopefully, and then go ahead and board wipe them on turn four with the Shadows Verdict. Lots of different things. And now against the mirror match or slower decks, I mean, mid-range, this deck really does well with, for obvious reasons. But against the mirror match or another control deck, if you will, because this is kind of a mid-range, kind of a control deck, uh, it, this does well also. It just outvalues them. They're not ready. Most control decks are not running Fey of Wishes. That gives you so much value. And then we have a draw engine. We have Edgewall Innkeeper. And if they get rid of it, they get rid of it. But now they've used cards on a 1-1. One, one, and they're usually using a 2 removal or a 3 removal. Like, you know, Elspeth's Nightmares. You got Heartless Axe. If they remove the Edgewall Innkeeper like that, that's fine for us. So the deck is really strong against everything in the meta right now. It even puts work in against Rogues. I think this is a blast. You're going to see in the game footage, I absolutely just destroyed people. So why don't we get into that? But before we do, real quick, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. It's super easy. It's completely free. We're almost to 100 subscribers. And when we get there, we're giving away 3,400 gems for free. That's a $20 value. I will even pay the taxes for you to one of our subscribers at random when we hit that landmark. So please smash that button real quick, like the video. Leave us a comment down below. Share with someone that you think that might like the content as well. And without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Quality light. Hey. I need a lot of quality light. I like quality light. Okay, so we go first. Three lands. Triome, Forest, Temple, Alrun's Epiphany, Valky, Extinction Event, and Cultivate. They're not showing us any information. We'll keep it. And we'll start with the Triome, so then we could choose to go turn to uh, Temple uh, or turn to Valky. It's up to us with the Forest. Down to six. So we'll th start with the Triome, pass turn. Okay, they go Forest, pass. Um, so... I can either throw the Temple and throw out a Lovestruck token. And no, have no idea what they have in their hand. Or we could throw the Valky. If they're a creature-based deck, that's good for us. If they are Sultai Ultimatum, we could whiff on that pretty hard. Let's get this land out tapped. Let's. Oh, we definitely want to keep that on top. And let's go ahead and throw the token. We don't know what we're playing against yet. And even though Valky would have showed the hand, like I said, there's too many options. I don't think we were going to grab a two-drop anyway. So black-green. So it looks like it is more Sultai. So we could throw this out on, uh, do we, yeah, it doesn't matter what color we throw it out on now, so we'll just lead on the blue. And we could throw the 5-5, five five. it's just going to get killed to that. They don't have a way to counter this, they're not doing anything, so let's go ahead and do this. We have green, 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 we have a blue, uh, yeah, we have black here, but we're going to need another black. And another, probably green for now. Or do I want to grab two blacks? Because I have green, 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 blue. Yeah, maybe I just grab two blacks. I don't need the... I don't need the other... Um, what's it called yet? The the red for this anytime soon. Oh, uh, we'll swing in. They're not going to flash anything in at us. So that's three lands. They have, used, they have three mana they haven't used this game. So that's nice for us. They threw a forest, did nothing. They threw a forest swamp, did nothing. Now they throw a pathway on green. Double green, cultivating. They're ramping back at us. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and one to be more five. Next turn, I can outruns Epiphany unless I throw the Temple, and they know about the Swamp. So we're gonna throw the Swamp. We're gonna throw that Love Struck Beast out. They already knew about it. We're gonna throw the outruns Epiphany into Fortel. We're gonna swing for one. We're gonna pass the turn and see if uh, if they don't do anything like I don't know. Shadow. They could Shadow's Verdict. If they Shadow's Verdict, we only lo lost one card because this this token came with this card. So binding the old gods. Okay. We're getting real close to where I'm gonna wish I had that red land. Let's uh They only have one land left. We have Fey of Wishes. So we don't have to do the Alruns this turn. We could see what's in their hand and Fey. One, two, one, two, three. No, we can't do both. Well, we can't do both and Temple. So, let's go ahead. Man. I don't want to Alrun's Epiphany just to Alrun's Epiphany. It, it feels bad. Um, what are we getting from the sideboard if we go to the sideboard? We have one, two, three, four, five. We can throw a land and have a sixth. We can get an Ash Yacht. We can get a Groot Curse, Curse Huntsman. Let's go. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We'll Fey. And... I think the Ugin is the best play. and We just hold it until they ultimate him. We just sit there and hold it and be real awkward for a while. We don't need another Love Struck Beast at the moment. We'll attack for one pass a turn and just be real awkward like we don't have to use this ugin anytime soon but now that it's in our hand it's going to bug the opponent really wish i would have grabbed that red land now that's a slight misstep but it happens that's why we're learning they're cultivating they just why not thin the deck more they have one land in their hand still they have tons of land in play hey it's a beanstalk giant they're probably holding up a counter spell we throw the forest because we have a forest. We definitely don't want to Alrun's Epiphany and get countered. Um, let's throw the Beanstalk Giant on the land side for the Fertile Footsteps. To see, what, uh, I didn't see any stop there. I mean, that seemed fast. Let's grab that red that we need. I mean, that seemed really fast. And let's throw out the Fey. Swing in for one. And the turn. So, we have 8 mana now, we can Ugin, we can Aurons, we can Beanstalk, we can... Okay, so, we, we lose 100% of our Ugin, and they have the counter spell most likely. So, I think we're just going to be Extinction Eventing on Odd. I, I think that they have the answer for the Ugin. I really do. So if I Extinction first... Man, maybe I should see their hand. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't do the Ugin and that, so that's not good. That one's Epiphany is not good. Let's try... Uh, I mean, this is even, even, even odd so uh, i'm gonna be picking odd let's see if it works we can survive a turn if it doesn't so they have the counter spell which i mean we have the ugin also so if this doesn't work the next turn we'll try it again i don't know if they have the negate or if it's counter holding up for the coma i would love it if they sacked that please sack it <laughs> okay uh, do I need that mana right now? I mean, I'll tap it. I don't know why they did that. I'm going to be calling odd. And their token was even. Weird. Swinging for two, pass the turn. They didn't have a counter spell. Or if they did, you think they would have used it there? I mean, that was a coma. There we go. Good game. Woo! We should have some juice in the hand. Toxo 92. Welcome. Let's fight. 
We go first with four lands, three of which is Kiora, Best of Sea God, and a Vivian. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to... I don't love it, because we are slow, but if they are a rush deck, we could just throw the Fey as a creature, so we'll keep it. I'm really I'm trying to not mulligan as much nowadays and see what we can do with decks. It feels good. So we have green and blue in our hands, so let's just start with that temple. Temple of Mystery. It's a triome. I mean, we, we need answer cards, but we don't know what they're doing. I don't think we're passing on lands. Not in a control deck. I mean, we're somewhat a control deck still, even though we're an adventure deck. We're a combo. I mean, we want to get to big manas. Sacrifice. Okay. So, I don't care if they hit us for one. So, we'll go ahead and just tap. Throw that out tapped. They, they might end up making us uh, discard a card. Couldn't stop that anyways. Even if I threw a Fey of Wishes for the one or the two drop for the actual creature side. Elder Flame Discipline. Okay, we're going to start getting our hand destroyed. So we can't bank on things like Cure Best Sea God. We're going to have to just ship that. If they sacrifice that, we lose another card. Yep. Hmm. Fey gets anything. We already have the Vivian. This is turn four. And that'd be turn five anyways. They're going to keep ripping our hand apart. So if I just go and search for something, that's not good. I'm going to just get rid of the Fey. Keep, see if we can't get to that there. Uh, Vivian, we'll throw the land. It's a Pelucranos. We'll keep that because if they you keep doing this, at least we have a big huge creature in a second. That we can keep bringing back with all the cards they're making us discard. Do they have another way to make us discard? Do we get to take a break from destroying our hand? It would be nice. It would be nice. I don't think Shadow's Verdict is doing much, so that's going bye-bye. I mean, yes, it wipes out two 1-1s. One -ones. I don't care about some 1-1s, one and their top end, I believe, is Tegrid. That's what I'm worried about. Okay, so we're going to throw this on the Pelucranos, pass the turn, next turn. If they don't have a way to rip cards out of our hand, we get to go Forest Vivian. If they do have a way to rip cards out of our hand, what were we going to do? Like, we can't... Okay, they are Village Rights. Village rights their their Elderflame Discipline... Maybe they need some juice now. Maybe they had a heartless act. And they're like, well, that's not good. Demon's Discipline. There you go. Okay. Well, at least I get to use my Vivian. And Pelucranos can come back out soon-ish. Okay, nice. Land. Vivian. I don't think they're going to be running Rankle. But just in case, we will go ahead and give this reach. on the wilds no longer. And if they do another discipline, into a discipline, something, yeah, village rights, okay. Once again, they're searching. We will get reach in case, like I said, we do not want to get rankled. And Decoria answers. Not when Vivian calls and Decoria answers. <laughs> so that's a Loris. Okay, we discard a forest. Love struck beast, eh? Let's go ahead and throw a token. Let's go ahead and throw a 5-5. Five five. Let's go ahead and get a creature with, what do I get, Vigilance? So I can start attacking. We'll get another Reach one. We'll swing in with this one. Diversity is our greatest strength. That way they don't have, I mean, they can just bring it right back, but we have nothing to discard. So who cares? Let them keep bringing it back. I'll draw a card. We might need to minus this soon. Oh, not bad. Okay, Blood Chief Thirst. They had to pay four for that. Four to get rid of my three. Good value. He's good value for us. Dolores. Nope, Serrated Scorpion. Okay. Stewart. Okay, they're just going to barf out as much as they can. Oh, man. It's another land on top. So we'll play this land tapped. Let's get rid of that one. Let's see what Vivian shows us. Another land. Um, we can't do this yet because it needs six other cards and it is one of the six and we don't have the land yet anyways. So you become a 3-3. Three, three. Let's get... Uh, I'm just... I mean, let's start doing Vigilance. Let's attack with these two. Any threat. If this is when they grab Rankle. Woo! That's fun. <laughs> okay, we lose two. They take three. They block with the Serrated Scorpion. That's... 
good for them. They could just keep bringing that back every single turn. We're just building an army of three threes is where they can just keep throwing a straight to Scorpion every turn. As soon as this blue Kronos comes out, we're, we're okay. Well, that's fine. They draw a Blood Chief, kill our Vivian. So blue Kronos will eventually take out. Okay, they're almost out of cards. We know we have a Triumph coming up. We'll throw the Pelucranus. One, two, a three, four, a five, and a six. If that's a removal in their hand, good for them. Throw the Triome out. Uh, one, two, three, four. Now I think we hold on to that in case we need to. Hold on, hold on. What am I doing here? I'm gonna attack with all three of these. They're gonna double block the one ones and then I take damage so cancel no blocks this turn no attacks this turn I, I I lose I take four they take three we'll hold this up in case I need to cycle one two three four five six if I top deck an ultimatum I'm going to be really upset with myself we have a 12 12 that's going to be popping off here soon they sacrifice the steward oh okay we got rid of one of their creatures but then they're going to throw it back again so that was kind of dumb I should have whoa 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 It's okay. This is going to kill... There we go. This is going to kill Loris. This is going to kill Loris. You're going to kill this. And then let's swing in with everything except for the 1-1. One, one. Oh, and I kept the, the Vigilance one untapped because it's Vigilance. Ignore all of that. I'm dumb. I attacked with it. I was like, did I not attack with it? Vigilance. I forgot I gave one that. Bastion of Remembrance. Get themselves a 1-1, which is guaranteed to... Oh, wow. Okay. So, oh my gosh. So, we're, we take, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by the time it's, everything is said and done. Definitely going to throw the Edge Wall Innkeeper. Let's get rid of something so they can't um, triple block us. Wait, cancel this, cancel this. We want to keep all of our blue available. So, this is black, green... And so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We got this. Get rid of that. Yep, we lose three. Resolves. Next. Swing with everything. I don't need the 1-1 one, one anymore. We don't have a Love Struck Beast. So we might as well ship it in and take the trade. The Death Touch doesn't do what you think it does. If you block with the Falmire Knight... I just want it off the board. I don't care if I lose a 3-3. That's fine. They're down to no cards in hand. There we go. I'm not going to bounce it and let them have something else. We put a whole bunch of damage in on them. Bring them down to 13. We take two more. Yep. So end the turn. Hopefully they draw land and we can uh, do some real aggressive damage here. We have the bounce at the end of their turn. So we're still doing what? 4, 7, 9, yeah, 11. Call the Death Dweller. So they get to bring that in. There's nothing I can do about that. I can fight it next turn. I'm going to be... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they throw the scorpion. That resolves. Okay, I'll bounce the scorpion. Because they're going to try to... They want to block. Okay. We'll do that. We'll, we'll do this. We don't want another land, so we'll scratch that to the bottom. We're definitely going to be fighting that Loris. That has to go bye-bye. I should have attacked first, I think. Because if I attacked first, I think they would have let it through. And I would have hit him for four more damage. So, I do think that was... Because uh... if they blocked, I still got the same thing out of it. So, that was a misplay there. Remember to do that. They throw the Serrated. That's fine. So, I'm going to lose three life. One, two, three. But I think that they're just going to die. I think this is... Let's just clean this game up. We draw a card. It was It's over either way, but I really wish I would have attacked the Pelucanos first. That's going to bother me. <laughs> it's important that you see those things when you make mistakes. It's okay. We all do it. But you want to see them. That's actually an amazing draw. That's just a guarantee now that we win. So we'll throw that. We'll bounce the Serrated Scorpion. And we'll swing with everything. We had it. I, I'm pretty so. If they blocked a three three, it would have been what three four five six seven eight nine. We still had it. This just cleans it up. Well, maybe we didn't. They still have the faceless. 
So now we'll go ahead and swing with everything. They block the biggest thing they can with the faceless, which is this, and they take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Resolves. Next. Yep. Next. And then that's lethal. Good game. Whew. Night of death. Okay. As in a soldier of death, though. Not like an evening. Just in case people are wondering. Opponent goes first. We have four lands. Extinction event. Edgewall Innkeeper and an ultimatum. So ultimatum's kind of dead for a while. They're not showing us any information. We do have an extinction event. Let's hope we can make it there if they're a creature deck. Uh... Okay, Temple of Deceit. They are rogues. They are rogues. So let's make sure that we have as much land as possible, as often as possible. Mm, I think we keep that so that we can get to this ultimatum sooner. Hopefully. If they're rogues, we're going to lose that. But if they're not rogues, we keep it. Uh, we don't know yet. So they're going to fly. If they are rogues, they either have... I mean, they're going to flash something in at the end of their turn. Basically. That's what I'm getting at. So we go ahead and throw a blue source out. And Edgewall Innkeeper. That's a good counterspell target. I mean, for us, I don't think it's smart for them. And flash in the... Is it Brazen or Soaring? Soaring! Okay, here we go. Turn three, we have Beanstalk. That'll ramp us a little. We're trying to get to that ultimatum. So we've got a black, a blue, a green. It takes a lot of green, so we're probably going to need to go get green. We have a great henge. So that gives us double green if we can get to that. Oh, man. That's going to be extremely problematic. In the future. Not right at the moment. Okay. Monster's Advocate. Not bad. We'll throw our forest... We'll be in stock. This can get any color we want. We have two green and a blue. I think we need one more black right now. Our whole hand is green other than the extinction. But we have two. Ah, uh, black. And no attacks. And the turn. We did uh, end up getting another creature type in the graveyard from them milling us for two with the soaring so now this is up to two the night hawk still not horrible and we don't care where their life's at for quite a while so they're representing into the store no i don't think they have enough cards for into the story they're just representing a lot of land untapped <laughs> what else you got oh what are they going to get from us? That's not good. Beanstalk Giant. Valky. Nothing for you to see here. They're tapped out. That's odd. That's odd. And they can keep the Valky. Uh, I do believe an Extinction Event on Odd is going to be the play. Let's go ahead and... We don't want to thin the deck yet because we're an Ultimatum deck. And we're trying to see what we get here so we have we need one more blue and we have double black if we need it and we don't have a lot of green but there's less blue in the deck so i think this needs to go out on blue and i would love to vivian here but we i mean this is too good of an opportunity we we are gonna lose the innkeeper so they're gonna know that they're gonna yeah they're not gonna block if they read into this, I would say they'll probably read into it. I would have read into that. We're already at 11 life. So, why? Yeah. They didn't need to block. Pass the turn back. The Vivian's going to be helpful, plusing with 3 3 Reachers. But we're. Okay, but we're still in a weird position. Why are they. I don't think they've ever owned a Valky. Here comes the Soaring Thought Thief on their turn. Interesting. There's no need in that. 
They, that doesn't do anything. So they can't counterspell Vivian. Okay, so... Oh, shoot. They can't counterspell that either. Um... I think I have to get rid of their board. Definitely think I have to get rid of their board. So what do we got here? We have green, green, blue, blue. I'll need one more black and one more green before I can throw that. This takes care of the green. But I can't throw it anytime soon. So I definitely have to do this and do this. We don't need to throw crack this yet. So we're not thinning our deck. We need another land. And this way it's whatever we want. They can't counter that. Oh, they could. Now they can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, so. It was the fifth card. It was just already registering. Pass the turn. Hopefully they can only throw one creature. One creature at a time is fine because then the Vivian takes effect. I need them to tap it out. So. And I don't know if they're ever doing that again. There's our Wind Robber. If I top deck a land, I'd. I can ultimate them. Depending on what it is. So red one. So that's not going to do it. That does not help. <laughs> it's, I should have... If I thinned it, it still wouldn't have helped. So now we can throw the beanstalk giant. Let's activate this. We don't know what we need, but I'm assuming... This makes it to where it doesn't matter. What's more in the deck? We have more... We have two out of four forests, swamp, yeah, so we'll grab the swamp, because we're more likely to grab, well, it says it shows you right there, so, we'll grab that, and I, I'm throwing the beanstalk giant, because if they have a counter spell, I need that to be countered, and I'll take one and let them mill me one, we really, really, really need to hit this Vivian, we really need to hit this ultimatum, they don't counter spell that, that's good. But, now they have another story, and I should have thrown, oh, brazen bar, oh, they are trying to attack me hard and fast, okay, okay, so they don't have a counter spell. Boom, boom. Okay. Don't be a land. Extinction event. Okay. I'm gonna look excited. I don't think they have it. How often does a rogue deck not have it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I mean, I throw this for two. And... Oh! No! Well, how many cards? Seven? No! Okay, they can't counter this. Can't counter this, but then we can't ultimate them also. But we can Vivian. They can't counter this. It costs nine. <laughs> if they flash in a Soaring Thought Thief at the end of turn, then they hit us for, what, three, six, seven, and we go to seven. So we lose the game. So if we throw Beanstalk Giant, we lose. If we throw Vivian and they counter it, we lose. Whereas that, whereas that'll hold up for the Merfolk Wind Robber. I don't know. We have to go for it. I think we lose the other way. Will you hit the board? Can I get it to hit the board? There's the Drown and the Lock. They don't have a Soaring Thought Thief. And, uh, they, I mean, if they do, it only pumps up these two. That's four, five, six. I can't. I have to. Might as well swing with this. It doesn't do anything else. We need them to not have another counter spell. And next turn, we can pop the ultimatum. No, we can't because I didn't use the beanstalk giant. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, we'll have the henge. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. Yeah. So it just boils down to what do they have in their hand. There's the Soaring Thought Thief, like I expected. So I'm going to get hit for six. Go to. Yep, one, two. If they have the counter spell, then it's just rogues being rogues. Nothing I can do. Ah, I'm on pins and needles. Because, I mean, how often do you have all the drown? I mean, one of those has to be a counter spell. I don't want it to be. Ah. Please be the merfolk wind robber. Yes! Don't draw it. Come on. Whoo! Oh, we've gotten into our deck. So, Alrin's Epiphany. Oh, man. This is getting close. The Valky. The Alrin's Epiphany. What else do I have to have? Or I just lose this game. A 1-4 flyer does it. 
I mean, I don't have anything super big left. I needed this Vornclex. Outrun's Epiphany. I think it's a Brazen Borrower. I think that's what it has to be, just to stop them in the air. It's just, or, well, no. I could stop them in the air just as well, I think, with the Fae. Oof. Unless it lets me cast the Fey, which I think it actually will. And then I could go to the sideboard, and what do I do I have? A removal for two. I don't. I have a soul shatter. A heartless act. I have heartless act. Okay. So just depending on what they do here. So we get the Fey of Wishes. And the Valky. Throw that out. We'll cast that. Uh, Erebos Intervention gains us a life and still kills the Brazen Borrower. Sacrifice this to exile our graveyard. Let's throw the Erebos Intervention for one. Is it gains us a life? Let's see if this pops off. <laughs> pay one. Auto pay. Let's see if that works. Did. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this creature. How badly will you and let's swing in for seven. And they did not have a flashing creature or that would not have just gone down like that. Oh! Ah! Uh! 100% on the ladder. This deck is nice. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for Sultai Adventures. This deck is an absolute blast. I think it's probably my favorite deck currently to be playing on ranked or be playing at all. Um, I'm not changing anything. I think I spoke plenty in the beginning explaining the deck. Uh, we probably should just wrap this video up because you, you want to get back to your day. So let's go ahead and end it on, I love it. I'm not changing anything. I will 100% modify the deck a little bit here and there if need be, depending on where I see it falter. But at the moment, it's not faltering. If I see a, um, something happening in a game that I can't handle with my sideboard and a card that I'm just not using a lot, I'll replace that. But ultimately, not changing a thing. This deck is an absolute beast i love it so thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the content and i really hope you have please subscribe completely free really fast and as soon as we hit 100 subscribers we're giving away 3400 gems at random for free to one of our subscribers so please smash that button like the video share it and as always until next time have a blast in the arena